toy. You can kill. You're gonna go outside with it. Hello, happy you're here. Mala is already destroyed that pig. <laughs> She's pulling it apart right now. <laughs> I am getting ready for practice at the moment. I've just showered, obviously, and to get some water to water the plants. I need to get dressed. Oh gosh, okay, hold on. My kids stayed the night at my mom's last night, so it's been a very quiet morning. I've been able to just be a little slow to start, which has been great. I don't know why I'm trying to use a spray bottle. It just never works. I don't think I'll ever be a plant girly, but I'm trying. It was such a perfect, beautiful day for practice outside, and I'm definitely looking forward to getting out more in a little bit. But it's quarter to 12 right now, so I've just heated up some leftover Indian food, so I'm going to eat that, chill for a second, watch a little bit of YouTube, put my feet up, and spend a little bit more like child-free time. I'm definitely missing my kids. I haven't seen them now in like over 24 hours. I was talking with Dave about this last night. There has not been a day since I had Owen that I haven't heard someone cry, someone cry for me to do something, um, or just crying in general, unless like under 10 times when we spent nights away or days away, but in, Four and a half years, almost five years. It's been less than 10 of those days. I have listened to people crying and that I think is one of the biggest like sensory issues, like having to, to hear the crying. Obviously a lot of it is for communication, especially early on. And then it comes to next is learning, like coping. So I think we're in the learning for coping era of um, using crying, but I told Dave one day when my kids get a little bit older, there will be the first day that nobody cries. And that blows my mind that one day, neither one of my kids are going to have a full screaming, crying spell. And I don't know, my, my ears, my sensory my audio sensory stuff is thrilled that that day one day will exist it's just necessary right now and that's okay uh dave just wrapped up in our new camper which the main use of this camper is going to be for him to take to shooting competitions but it's it's huge <laughs> it's ridiculous because it's got a little garage space in the back so that way he can bring the side by side with him because some of the places that he does the the clay shooting competitions they are enormous so he literally needs a set of wheels to make it around the grounds and to get to his competitions on time so i've not seen the camper that he picked out yet we're gonna go get my reaction of it. I already know that I'm gonna feel like it's over the top. I'm gonna feel like it's way too much. <laughs> oh, I can feed you. So, we're gonna, we're gonna go take a look at her. Take a little gander. I'm still in like sweatpants from practice. <laughs> Looking so good. And my mom's come back with the kids so the dogs were outside playing and then they were tracking mud inside so it looks like this right now because obviously our yard is just a huge mud puddle all right let's look at this monster it's such a beautiful day gorgeous gorgeous oh, I put <laughs> oh my gosh Holy cow. I think the most shocking bit is the top part. About how tall it is? About how tall it is, yeah. That's the shoes off house, or... Oh. There she goes. Oh my gosh. Is this the... There's steps up to the master. Oh my gosh. It's the bump outs. Wow. Look at our room. This side's mine. Oh my gosh, look at this closet. 
It's got, it's, it's a hanging, this whole bump out is, a, you want to see the closet? What do you think? Good. <laughs> what about this bathroom? <laughs> this like cornered toilet is so funny to me. <laughs> Muddy dog, we just talked <laughs> about. This your own dog. <laughs> oh, well, now it matches my dining room. <laughs> oh, look at this little extra. Oh, yes, perfect. This is the fridge. The party deck, oh, trust me, we've the been party deck. The party deck is set up. Come yeah. see a party deck. I'll come see the party deck. So in. here's the garage bit. Oh, there's another bathroom over here. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, party deck. The buttons are right there. And then these are beds. Well, it's also couches. I think this also gives a lot more options for colder weather too. That's the fireplace. That's the yeah. fireplace. Okay, I am having an impromptu batting thing today because the girls wanted to and Dave is gone this weekend and it's not instructional like I'm just pretty much there to facilitate them using the pitching machine so I'm bringing the kids the kids are coming to practice today so that's exciting for them. It should not be an issue at all. But that's what we're working on, and it's rainy today. It's rainy, so I'm like bringing the kids gloves and their bats and teas and, and stuff, and like little tea balls, but everything was left outside because it's been so beautiful this week. So everything's like a little wet, <laughs> a little bit too damp, but it'll be fine. It's gonna be all right. And it's gonna be, it's gonna be lovely, it's gonna be nice. And I know some of the girls will be excited to see my kids and like you get in any group of people, some people are gonna be so excited to see kids and hang out with kids and other people are gonna be like, no thanks. <laughs> I broke the strap on my watch last night on the bus. I got caught in my bag strap. What day is? My watch strap broke. Okay, I got the watch strap. And now, Mama. Fix that when we get there. Yes, sweetheart. Mama. What, honey? Mama. Yeah, I don't. I don't think that's gonna fit with your sweater. I think your sweater is too thick to go into that jacket. Yeah. Yeah, we can wear your other jacket. It's in the car. Let's brush your hair before we go. We had a good time out at softball with my girls. The girls were so great with my kids. The kids had fun hitting their balls off of the tees, and some of the girls rolled them grounders, and it was just really nice. The sun has popped out, but I have had such, like, I'm tired. It's a Saturday for me, and you can tell I've been rubbing my eyes because I'm not used to wearing eye makeup, and I'm just tired because it's just been go, 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 go. It feels like I'm not slowed down. Poppy did fall asleep, I saw that. They're watching Monsters, Inc. right now while I make them a little... <laughs> Easy dinner. I have decided to stop trying to put Poppy down for naps, and maybe that's a bad idea, but I was just tired of losing two hours to a fight in bed on top of the two hours fight of tantrums from being tired, from refusing to take the nap I tried to give her earlier, so I thought, let's just have only one of these fights. <laughs> Instead of fighting to be in bed, let's just have the I'm too tired fight. Um, which honestly I spent so many hours just laid down I was upstairs, laid in the kids room with them, laid in my bed, like I just needed a bed rot day. So that's, they've let me have that today which was nice because it was rainy all morning. But now the sun is shining, the sun is so shining, I'd love to get outside and do some stuff but <sighs> that's gonna take a big push of motivation that I don't know how to come by at this moment. So maybe tomorrow, although we do have a birthday party we're meant to go to tomorrow, so. It's just my busy time. It's just my busy time, that's all. That's all, my house is a disaster. We're eating easy meals and that's okay. It's fine, it's fine. Where's my bathroom? I've been go, go, going. And now I've told the kids about there's a birthday party today to go to. So now I guess we're committed to doing that. And like, I'd like to do it. I'm not saying that I don't want to go. It's just, I'm tired. <laughs> and I'm like moody, because I think my period's coming. So 
just like trying to get over that. <laughs> and it'll be nice. It's gonna be an outdoor party. So it'll be nice to be outside with the kids run around. I also spent like two hours editing this morning. So I'm very much just like, I don't know, drained from that. What is going on? Where do you go? <sighs> Whatever. When I was in college, I would go to the Hannafords and grab a salad or a sandwich, some chips, whatever. And I would come and sit here to eat it in the summer times when I was home. There's something really nostalgic about sitting here. Both kids are asleep in the back. I went through the McDonald's drive through and grabbed a couple of fries and I'll share with them if they wake up. <laughs> but we're early to this party at the moment. We've stopped at Walmart, we've grabbed some gifts. We'll sit here for a couple minutes and then I will head towards the party. And I'm just gonna hopefully sit in some quiet <laughs> for a minute. It's been really hard to regulate my emotions today. So I'm gonna recalibrate a little bit in the quiet. Something just hits me in the sensory overload to hear why a lot. And I understand it's just them wanting to be inquisitive and like wanting to learn and I want to be so much better about them in that moment. But when you hear the same word over a hundred times a day, it is hard. I just need to give myself that space to let it be hard and understand that it's hard and it's okay that it's hard and it just makes me feel sad that it's harder than it might be for other people I think is my biggest it makes me mad <laughs> which then like just snowballs I don't know I'm gonna set up this lake I'm gonna look at the water it's so calm today the clouds are so cute and puffy since being sat here, I'm trying not to like itch my face. I've got like salty fry hands. Since being sat here, when I pulled in, there's already two cars here. One left, two more have since come. It's just the spot, it's just the spot. I should say that when I used to come here to eat my lunches in the summertime, when I was home from college, that was like 2011. 2012, lots of years ago. Oh, another car. <laughs> it's popping. We got to the rec place where they're having the birthday party outside and I just let my kids sleep in the car and then that sweet tea I got from McDonald's ran straight through me and I needed a bathroom so bad and they don't have any of the poor potties out yet. So I left the kids with my friends. <laughs> and just popped out to the Dollar General. Thankfully, they have a public restroom. I was like, please, <laughs> please let me go here. Oh my gosh, I'm so dark, sorry. But I just, that was awful, terrible. I had to pee so bad. Luckily, the Dollar General wasn't too far away and my kids had a nice long nap. I think Bobby slept for about an hour and a half. Like we got here and they slept for like another 25 minutes. Like I just didn't bother getting out of the car. Just let them sleep a little bit. They seem to be fine. <laughs> They've got each other at least. Holy smokes. All right, still got my parking spot. So that's a little positive, I guess. <sighs> awful, that was awful. Terrible experience, <laughs> zero out of 10. Okay not even taking my jacket off but it was so windy at the playground but it was nice like the playground itself I haven't been there in so long um just because the playground is up like near where I grew up so yeah come can kick this oh it's dripping on me oh my gosh hello you on that's probably not great is it Hello? I was gonna say, I was super cold. But now this isn't turning on, so they could have also just turned off the furnace, I guess, maybe. Hello? <laughs> or just turn a click. Oh, the light's on. Is it gonna work? <laughs> All right, well. Let's see, it was really breezy and cold at the playground. And I was like, wow, I wish I wore a long sleeve shirt or like an Under Armour, like one of the thick 
thick shirts underneath this jacket because it felt like the wind was just ripping through this jacket. It was so chilly. And then we've come here and I'm like, turn that heat up. I think this week is meant to be like the last week where the at nighttime it dips into the 30s. So fingers crossed on that. Oh my goodness. Hi Mool again. This has torn apart. <laughs> When did I go down there? I went to go turn the furnace on so that way maybe we could have some heat in here. Because mummy is cold. Me too. You too? Well, you guys need to put a blanket on you. Oh, look at all this laundry that needs cleaning. Laundry that needs folding. Toys that need cleaning up. Oh, this is just, I just can't cope. I just ignore it at this point. This looks messier than it is. This would be one load of dishes and a trip out to the trash can. So the kitchen itself is actually not that overwhelming in this moment. So that's fun. That's a great thing. All right, I'm really glad that we went to the birthday party, even though I'm super tired and that would have nothing to do with like wanting to go or not. I've just been go, go, go all week. I am glad that it was on the Sunday and not yesterday on the Saturday, just because no matter what, when it comes to the springtime, I always have Sunday off from softball. So it's nice when the things are scheduled on the Sunday instead of the Saturday during the spring, because then I know that I can for sure make it. It's just if I'm emotionally able to. And today being like, exhausted from the week like this was our first week of games like adding gameplay into practices and then also just feeling hormonal <laughs> which like just made me grumbly grumbly mad irritated and just we haven't careened into sad yet so that's good i guess um it was nice and i like that it was nice enough to be able to have it outside so that was also great because i need to spend a little more time outside and i need to spend a little more time like stretching and standing and moving my body it's my hip this hip my right hip ever since having my kids especially after having poppy is so tight and i just need to spend more time just stretching it even if it's only doing like hip stretches like even if it's just doing low lunges and then stretching out the hamstrings or just like doing elephant walks or down dogs I need to do stuff for it and I haven't today so I think that is on the agenda once I can like be warm enough to take this jacket off <laughs> the amount of home cleaning that I should have done after the kids fell asleep so much I just Scroll, 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 scroll. The last couple days have just been like bed rot scrolling. And I just couldn't peel myself up out of bed to come downstairs and do a quick tidy. Like this needs a tidy. I think I've given up on this. Like I've said, fold some laundry. Let's keep our little, I don't think the squirt. Ooh. Try to water some of these plants. Yep, okay. I don't know why I got this. I just have to like pour water on it. I don't know where to start, honestly, and I have to get ready for my game soon. <sighs> I think maybe make some nuggets. So I could go for some lunch. And then let's go put a load of laundry away so then I can wash a load of laundry. Kids are chilling on the couch. After swim lessons this morning, we went to the inflatables, so they got to play with some friends and get some energy out, so that was nice. I just remembered because I have a game today. We do our book and scoring on a tablet. Sorry, I'm in dark right now. Um, and I left it in my bag all weekend and I didn't charge it. And it oh, it takes so long to charge. So hopefully charging it for the next two and a half hours will give it enough juice to last the game. Fingers crossed, because you just don't know. I have pretty much been eating the same sort of things for lunch every day. I've been having a wrap every single day. So we are down to our last wrap, which is sad. And also I'm out of nearly everything. So we need to do a grocery shop. So we're gonna get the wrap ready. Almost out of 
mayo as well. There's nothing in here. I've talked about this before, but my friend got me this for Christmas like forever ago for a secret Santa. And this is the best thing ever. So it's my favorite thing to make wraps with. All right, excuse me. I'm gonna get the red pepper flakes out because buffalo sauce has been hurting my tummy. I'm gonna put some of that on. And then as far as what vegetables I have left from the last shop I did, we're gonna do, first of all, dairy-free cheddar slices. The kind I've been using because they melt okay. Like not great, but they melt the best. And then the last sort of vegetable that can kind of go on like a chickeny sandwich that I have left is this much of a tomato. Now we wait for the next. Yeah. Ta-da! Wrap. I am having some like pre-game jitters. I always get pre-game jitters, but like even more right now, I just feel like I am thinking, maybe like overthinking some things and my choices and stuff. So like, <sighs> but I've tidied the living room. I've got, <laughs> you hear Mala crying because Stella's coming up. Is Grammy coming? You can go out on the porch and wait for her. It's kind of really cold out there though. It's really chilly. I went and opened up the porch door and I was like, oh, I need my thick Under Armour on today. <laughs> but yeah, I've done a little bit of tidying and honestly, by the time I get home after my game, Dave will be home from his competition. He's been driving all day today. And then he and I might go out to dinner and then maybe I'll do like a tiny grocery shop then. So I don't think there's much else to say or show you. So I'm gonna finish this here. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one.